So in this video, I will show you how we can add comment to a breaker or to a switch. So to add a comment, we have to understand how the system works. Right now I have one breaker one. And in measurement, in comment, I have no anything listed. I have no comments to my breaker one. But here I can have the breaker state. This is the breaker position. Now it, the value is open. So if I want, I can show here by the X power display. I can link also to the comment breaker one measurement breaker position. I can use to show and I can edit the breaker position. So first we need to understand that this is not the comment. Now I just changing the breaker position. This is the value we just read from the equipment to know the status of our breaker or our switch. But this is not the way to comment the equipment. To comment the equipment, we have to make a comment. The comment has been designed in power configuration. Here we have one tab called comment. In comment, in our system we have different kind of comment. So one is a breaker position, protection mode, this is a shed load on scenario, switch position, tap position, this is for transformer. So here, for breaker position example, we have breaker position comment. And here, we have the different value taken from the different stage of my comment. For example, we have first the select value. Then we have the operate value, if you want to make a comment for select before operate. We can also choose this mode. So we have operate, operate feedback. So when we send the value operate, the system will reply us with the operate feedback. Same with select. If first we make a select value, we first have select feedback and then we can make operate value and then get operate feedback and also also, if the if the command is cancelled between the select and operate, we also can read uh, feedback from the device. So each relay, each equipment may have different value when we send the command open or different send the command close for the three stage: operate, select, and cancel. So also here we can apply a conversion. So each equipment also have different value. So we can make several conversion for several kind of equipment that require different value for the configuration of our comment. Also for different stage like operate, select, cancel, I can also customize my code and I can send or I can write a customized script for each of the operation. So I can add and I can configure myself the different script for the different comments. So that way we can use the comment to send breaker comment to the breaker using the different kind of protocol like DNP3, like 61850 like 103, we can design our comment to send properly the comment to different kind of equipment using different kind of protocol. So let's make a very small example right now. First, I will choose in substation one, the breaker one. So now we have measurement. But in breaker one, if I right click, I can also add comment here. So I choose add common. Now I have one folder is comment. Inside I also right click and I can insert a discrete comment. So I choose a discrete comment. So I have my discrete common one and I will name it breaker position. So in my breaker position here in property I have to tell the system this breaker position is a breaker position because this is the name for myself 
but for the system I have to specify this is a breaker partition command. And as I just talked previously, we can apply the conversion. If the relay we are using is from ABB, we have the value designed by ABB. If we have a relay made by Arriva, then here we have to apply other conversion and we have to use the value designed by Arriva relay for all the select operate and cancel operation and also according to the protocol we are using. So according to the protocol, according to the equipment, we can use different conversion. And then we can also here decide if the record one is is using one protocol and one equipment, we can select here the proper conversion for this specific equipment. So we, now we just select by default. We just want to make a simulation. And here in breaker position, I can also check inside. We have a common unit. So in our case, the breaker position, when we send a comment to the breaker position, we want the breaker to open or to close. So we will have two common units. So I can insert, right click, I can insert one more common unit. One common unit name will be open. One common unit name will be close. So for each common unit here, I also have to define in my property the, what kind of common unit is it. Here in my command, I have open and I have a close. This is the two possible commands we can send to the equipment. So here for close, I need to select in a common name here. Common name I can choose if it's close or, or, or open. So here it's close. And then for the common unit open, I have to choose here is open. Then for open, for example, here I have to indicate the tag for operate feedback tag and operate write tag. Also here is the same for select write tag, select feedback tag. And if I go up, we have cancel write tag and cancel feedback tag. So the value we design here is the value we will write or read from the tag we write here. So we can link this two tag for cancel, this two tag for select, this two tag for operate. We can link to the tag from the driver, for example, the DNP3 driver that we have already in our, our system, or also 61E50 on IC103 protocol. We can design the protocol, the, the driver first or the driver from the equipment and then we can link to our power system. So the system, when we send a command, we write the tag with the correct value and the system will reply us, we send us feedback with the corresponding value if the command is successful or not. And also we can do the same thing for operate for select or for cancel. So usually we send, we write the tag from the driver to send a comment and then the driver will also receive the value from the equipment that we will read the day after by the feedback. So to make a, to make a very simple uh, example, we will shortcut directly. So we will write the tag automatically we write directly to the breaker position operator value. But usually in a real project, we don't do this way. We just here, I will write the tag from the driver that really sent the data to the equipment. Now we just write directly to the breaker position operator value. So this way I can make a small simulation here. So now we have one comment. And if I click on breaker one, here I have a comment which is enable. And in common I have the breaker position and I can open or I can close. So here 
for the open RD know where to write the, the, the tag. But also for close, I can also choose to write directly in my breaker position operator value. So in this way, if I run my project here, now the breaker is open. So I can choose close and send the comment. Then here the breaker is closed. If I want to open, comment, breaker position comment open, yes, then it's open. Also, I can choose to go to measurement and here I have one type comment. I can also do the same thing. So we, we didn't choose the select before operate, so the select button is not enabled. So I can choose to close, operate, yes, and open, operate, yes. Then we can see the breaker is changing, the symbol changing the color, and we can see the current is going through when the breaker is closed. And we can open, then the current will stop here. So this is how we add a comment to our system. If I want to add a comment to the switch, I will use the same way. I choose the switch, right click, and I add a comment. Then in comment, I will insert one discrete comment. It will be switch position. This switch position, I have to indicate that this is a switch position and inside I have common unit for open and I have one common unit here for close. Then for each common unit I need to specify this one is for close and this one is for open. Then here I can choose to write the operate write tag. I can write directly only for test purpose switch one and measurement switch position operator value and I will choose here to write directly to my operator value then here I can run and then my switch position so first I need to also don't forget in my measurement switch position by default Active source is SCADA, but I can choose the operator. Then when I run here, the switch is open. Then I can choose to close. Okay, so now both of the terminal is not energized because here the current is stopped by the breaker one. So I can close the breaker one. Then the current will go through. Then if I open the switch, then terminal 1 with energize and terminal 2 is not energized. So this is how we can add comment to our system equipment.